All right, hey everybody, so welcome to the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare movie review. So I knew I was going to be able to see this thing early because, they, of course, they have the official early access screening this Saturday, April 13th. And I already got my ticket to that, and I will be going to go see this thing again because I cannot wait to rewatch this film. But I was not prepared, actually I was kind of prepared, but not really prepared uh, because I've been wrong in the past uh, for the fact that I got to see it even earlier than I thought. Yes, the AMC screen unscreen screening tonight was The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, the new film by Guy Ritchie. This film stars Henry Cavill, Henry Golding, Alan Richson, uh, Alex Pettifer, um, uh, Babs Ullman, uh, Ascon, uh, Hero Finds Tiffin. We'll talk about Hero a lot here, guys. Uh, you know, Isaac Gonzalez, Till Swiger, um, I, um, Carrie Elwes, uh, Freddie Fox. I mean, like, it stars, like, a whole bunch of people. And including, like, I still don't know who the hell played Winston Churchill. Because I kind of, like, left when the credits started. Like, I still do not know who played Winston Churchill. But whoever did, A plus there, guy. A plus there, dude. And so I knew that I was going to love this movie. I knew that this was going to be, like, one of my favorite films of the year. I was not prepared for how much I love this movie. Not only is it right now my top two, you know, favorite film of the year, it is also the best Guy Ritchie uh, movie that I've seen. And I've seen all of his films. Uh, it is hands down the best Guy Ritchie movie that I've seen in a long time. And even in his entire filmography, this is his best film to date. Uh, it's fun, funny, entertaining, badass kick-ass you know crazy violent bloody i mean it's educational i mean for anybody who doesn't know the history behind this thing uh it is a little educational it does kind of give you like an overview of like what this thing actually is um if you do know the history of this film uh this is based uh loosely based but keeping to the overall uh arching you know major plot points of operation postmaster uh, for anybody who knows the real history behind this thing, uh, if you know the operations, this is uh, based on Operation Postmaster. Uh, I need a sequel. I need a sequel. I need a sequel. Sequel, 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 sequel. I need another movie with this cast together. Even though I know the history and I know uh, where this is going, like, I still want that sequel. I still need that sequel. This is, like I said, this is in my top two uh, of the year. Uh, Guy Ritchie does it again. Guy Ritchie does it again. This was hands down one of my most anticipated films of the rest of the year, and I got to see it even earlier than I thought I was going to, thanks to AMC Screen Unscreen. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I about jumped out of my seat. I about jumped out of my seat as the like as we got closer and closer to the film starting as more Lionsgate trailers started to play when I got the Lionsgate logo when I got the Black Bear uh you know international uh, films logo like I was like oh yes 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 it's been Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare and I had the biggest smile on my face uh for a lot of the time um this is uh, truly one of the best films of the year, and this is one of, actually, the best Guy Ritchie film that I've ever seen. Let's start with the cast, because holy fucking shit, this cast. This cast, everyone, everyone came to play. Uh, I have to tip my hat to the casting director. You know, give that person a raise. Henry Cavill, Henry Golding, Hero Finds Tiffin, Alan Richson, Alex Pettifer all played really well off of each other. They all really bounced well off of each other. Uh, you really did believe the com camaraderie of these guys. You believed their chemistry. They had great banter back and forth. They had a lot of funny, uh, you know, lines back and forth. Uh, you can tell they really did care about each other as a team. And yeah, no, like, like this was this 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 was great. Like like, they, like that that cast is the re this cast is the reason to go see it, um, and and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'll talk about. 
uh, let's talk about somebody who really, really, really surprised me in this movie. And I don't care what you hero stands say, I am going to talk about this man. Because let me tell you something, there are going to be a lot of people, once they come out of seeing this movie, who are going to be talking about hero. Because look, we knew that Henry Cavill was going to be great. We knew that, you know, or I'm just talking about the general audience. You know, general audiences knew that Henry Cavill was going to be great. They knew that Henry Golding was going to be great. They knew knew that Alan Richson was going to, you know, kick total fucking ass in this movie. They knew that Isaac Gonzalez was going to be great. They knew that Carrie Elwes was going to be great. They knew that Alex Pettifer was going to be great. They knew all these people were going to be great, but Hero was the wild card because, let's face it, not a lot of people have seen the After Film franchise, or if they've had, uh, not a lot of people really do have that high of an opinion on it. And so, yeah, let, let's start with him, because like I said, a lot of people are going to, you know, be talking about him when they come out of this movie, because he surprised the hell out of me. This is his best performance to date, and if you're a Hero Finds Tiffin stan, you are going to be very, very, very happy with this film. You are going to be very, very, very pleased with this film, because not only is he great, he is the perfect fit for a Guy Ritchie movie. Uh, I, I said it from the beginning. I said it from ever since, you know, before he was even cast in this thing. I said, Hero Finds Tiffin needs to be in a Guy Ritchie film. And this film proved it time and time and again that he is the absolute perfect fit. This is his best performance to date. Uh, he is a true badass in this movie. He is a true badass in this movie. And there is a moment in this movie that I'm not going to spoil for you guys, but there is a badass moment that he has in this movie where I actually kind of like, 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 like had that sadistic, you know, glee, sadistic, you know, giggle. I was like, okay, hero, okay, hero. Like, okay, hero. Like, get it, man. Get it. Like, yeah, hero. Like, I actually like out loud said like, okay, hero. Like, like, damn. I mean, he needs to be in more action movies. Hero Finds Tiffin needs to be in more action movies. And I'm actually, I really, really, really need the news uh, that he's going to be in the Young Sherlock Holmes movie, uh, Young Sherlock Holmes TV show uh, that Guy Ritchie is allegedly doing. And I'm going to put this in heavy air, you know, heavy air quotes, allegedly doing because the source is a little shady. Uh, so I, I'm really excited, but I'm also really hesitant, you know, to really go the full route of, yeah, hero, yay, hero, we're, you're re re-teaming with Guy Ritchie, like, yeah, and then young Sherlock Holmes, go, dude, go, bro. Like, I'm really hesitant to, like, really, like, go the full route with it, because the source is very questionable. It's the Daily Mail, but yeah, no, it's very, very questionable, Nobody else official is talking about it. Hero has not said anything. Guy Ritchie has not said anything. Uh, none of the official sources have actually said anything. So please just just temper your, your guys' uh, hype for it. Um, because again, like nobody official has actually confirmed it. But please, I know we are all begging for this to happen. Um, he played really, really, really well off of everybody. He has a lot of screen time. Uh, he has great chemistry with everybody everyone if you love henry cat or henry cavill heavens uh henry golding and heroes uh chemistry during the during the press tour you're gonna love them in this film they have great chemistry together it does translate on screen uh yeah no like he plays really well off of everybody and he is like really like one of the true standouts of this film all right uh so talking about everybody else uh henry cavill is henry cavill and he's great as always I'm not going to spoil what it is, but, like, I loved a pseudo-running gag that they did have a little bit in this film involving him and a jacket. Like, I, I did love that running gag. I'm not going to spoil what it is. Um, Alan Richson is a true badass and was clearly having a ball with this character. Um, I al I'm also really glad that he got to flex his comedic chops a little bit here. Um, that was actually something that I'm really kind of... Um, upset that Hollywood has not really taken full advantage of because he was great in Blue Mountain State. If you've never seen the show Blue Mountain State, uh, it's, it's, it's great. I, I loved it, but it's also of its time. Uh, but he really is like this really great comedic actor. Uh, and I really do wish that Hollywood would take a lot more, um, a lot more advantage of that versus just, you know, uh, typecasting him into the badass. Although he does that great. And I love, love, loved 
uh, his badassery in this. Like, he's great in this. Um, Henry, uh, Henry Golding is really great in this. And like uh, Cavill, I'm really glad that Henry Golding is being added to his stable of director or his stable of actors. Um, I really did love the way Babs and Isa Gonzalez played uh, off of each other. Uh, Isa is really great in this. Uh, she's really great in this. She's an absolute goddess in this movie. And uh, she took my breath away during a couple of moments. Like there's like really like a couple more moments uh like moments like towards the like she absolutely took my breath away and she's really great she's really badass i mean god she we know she can do action if you've ever seen uh from dust till dawn the series you know she can do action uh if you've seen baby driver you know she can do action so like she's really great in the in the action scenes uh that she has um so yeah she also got to show off her action side in this uh it's always great seeing carrie elwes um in films uh, he plays uh, the M character in this, and uh, I, I wish he had more to do because it's always great whenever I see him pop up on screen. Um, I really love the action in this movie. Like, it's really it's it's tense, it's fun, it's funny, it's entertaining, it's badass, it's kick ass, it's bloody, it's crazy, it's over the top. I mean, like, I really love the action in this. And you know what? Who doesn't love watching Nazis get fucked up? Like, who doesn't love watching Nazis get fucked up? So yeah, no, like, it, it was great. Um, but yeah, no, talking about some of the other technicals. I mean, the score was great. Uh, the costumes were fantastic. The film was really well paced. The film was really, really, really well paced. Um, and I never once felt the two hours. I never once felt the two hours. Overall, I knew I was going to love this film. I was not prepared for how much I loved it. I went in with high expectations and it did not disappoint. I don't want to overhype this film because I'm sure there are going to be people out there, even people in this fandom who are not as high as I am on this film. Uh, but you know what? Just go in it with an open mind. You know, hey, if you if you love the trailer, you'll love the movie. Uh, but yeah, no, if you know Guy Ritchie films, then you know what this is. Like there's really like no surprise there. Uh, although this is, this is a little bit more serious than Guy Ritchie movies, even though there is like a tone of fun and fun, uh, you know, entertaining, you know, that comedic side is still very much there. Uh, you know, like it is a little bit more serious than some of his other films. Um, but yeah, no, overall, I, I, I just love this film and I can't wait to talk about it more. I can't wait to talk about it more. I'm trying not to spoil uh, a lot of this, I'm trying not to spoil uh, the stuff in this film because I know that nobody really has had a chance to see it unless you went to the AMC screen on screen. Uh, you know, it's not going to, you know, come out for the early access and, you know, for another couple of days until, you know, Saturday. Uh, but yeah, no, overall, I just love this film and I'm bouncing off the walls. Like if you cannot tell by my voice, if you cannot tell by my tone, I am bouncing off the walls. I, I love the hell out of this film. I was really happy with this film. So jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all this. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. As always, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go through all the stuff you'll be able to find on this channel right now. So I'll be bringing you guys constant, constant, constant updates on the After Film franchise. Um, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Hush Hush, The Mister, It Ends With Us, and, you know, a whole bunch of more stuff that I'll add, you know, when it comes to book-to-movie adaptations. Uh, because I was terminated for so long, there's still some stuff uh, from after we collided that I do have to catch up on, and I promise I'm going to catch up on it, including topic videos, and those are coming sooner rather than later. As always, remember, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, uh, please keep sharing the channel because without you, this channel would not be able to grow to the heights that it has. Um, so please keep sharing the channel. Please keep spreading the word of Charles's movie channel because this will easily be one of the best, if not the best, book-to-movie adaptation channels you'll find right here on YouTube or, dare I say, anywhere. Can you tell how out of practice I am saying all this? Uh, do you hear how, how I'm stumbling over it? Uh but yeah, no, uh, just keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting the subscribe button. My name is Charles. Welcome to the Book to Movie Adaptation channel. I'll see you later. After fans, Joe fans, hero fans. Uh, it ends with us fans, Blake Lively fans, uh, Justin Baldani fans, Hush Hush fans, The Mr. Fans, The Ballad of Songbirds and Zinc fans, The Idea of You fans, I, Book to Movie fans. Take care, y'all. Love you. See ya.